Pete Houston was an American singer and actress who was one of the best-selling musical performers of the 1980s and 90s. The daughter of Emily Houston, whose vocal group The Sweet Inspirations sang backup for Aretha Franklin and the cousin of singer Dion Warwick. Pete Houston began singing in church as a child. While still in high school, she sang backup for Chaka Khan and Lou Rawls and modeled for fashion magazines. At age 19, she she signed with Ari Star Records, whose president Cleve Davis groomed the gospel based singer for crossover pop success. Her debut album, Whitney Houston, yielded three number one singles in the United States, Greatest Love of All, which became her signature, Saving All My Love for You and How Will I Know. Whitney delivered four more number ones and earned Houston a Grammy Award. In 1992, Houston now Married singer Bobby Brown and made her motion picture debut in The Bodyguard. The film featured her rendition of Dolly Parton's I Will Always Love You, which stayed at number one for 15 weeks. The film's soundtrack dominated the Grammys the following year, with Houston winning the awards for Album of the Year, Record of the Year, and Best Female Pop Vocal Performance. In the mid 1990s, she continued acting. In film Films such as Waiting to Exit and The Preacher's Wife, and the soundtrack of each film generated hit singles for her. In 1998, Houston released My Love Is Your Love, which didn't sell as well as previous efforts, but was praised by the critics and earned her another Grammy Award. In 2001, she signed a new multi-album contract with Ari Star for $100 million, but personal difficulties soon overshadowed her recording career. Houston tumultuous relationship with Brown provided father for the tabloids as he her acknowledged drug use and financial issues. Her 2002 album Just Beat Me was a personal response to her detractors, but it says their disappointing compared with earlier efforts. Other than a lackluster holiday album, one wish Houston sent subsequent years in a State of virtual retirement. In February 2009, she began a comeback effort with a first song at the Cliff Davis Annual Preacher Grammy Awards Gala. The performance was graded warmly, and in June, Houston announced that an album of new material would be available later that year. I Look to You was released in August to positive reviews, and standout songs included the up tempo million dollar review. And and the title track is the building ballet writing by R. Kelly in February 2012. Houston died in a bathtub at the Beverly Hills Hotel shortly before Davis free Grammy party. A coroner's report released in March stated that the cause of death was accidental drowning with heart disease and cocaine used listed as contributing factors. Houston posthumously appeared in the musical film Sparkle, which she had co-produced. She was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2020.